Hey there, fabulous. Welcome to Your Marketing Mentor, the entrepreneur podcast where passion meets strategy and authenticity fuels growth. I'm your host, Sherry Sutton, your business growth guide, marketing mentor, and biggest cheerleader on this incredible journey of creating a purposeful and profitable business. Whether you're just starting out or looking to elevate your business to new heights, you're in the right place. With nearly 30 years of experience in strategic omni-channel marketing, I'm here to help you uncover your unique voice, build a profitable business, and make a real impact in the world. In each episode, we'll dive into personalized marketing strategies, authentic content creation, and the complex yet rewarding path of entrepreneurship. Expect practical advice, inspiring stories, and expert interviews, all designed to empower you to show up confidently as the face of your brand. So grab your favorite drink, settle in, and let's get ready to create a legacy together, one that not only makes money, but also a difference. You got this, and I'm here to help you every step of the way. All right, let's dive in. Welcome to the first episode of Your Marketing Mentor Podcast. My name is Sherry Sutton. I am your marketing mentor, and I am so excited to be with you today. This is a new podcast where I'm going to come on to your ear pods or in front of you on YouTube or wherever you're listening or watching this. We're going to talk about all things small business marketing. I've been a marketing mentor for about four years for small businesses. I've run my own very successful small businesses and have spent decades in marketing. So I really understand what works and what doesn't both digital and kind of more traditional marketing. So this podcast is dedicated to all things marketing. And today I wanted to start off sharing with you what is a marketing mentor and why do you need one? So I want to tell you a little bit about, you know, if you're, if you're overwhelmed by marketing, does it make sense to hire a mentor? What does that look like? What do they do? And give you a little kind of behind the scenes look on what that looks like. So if you are watching or listening to this rather, you can head over to YouTube. You can see some of the slides that I'm showing. Otherwise, you can just listen to my voice through the podcast. All right, let's dive right in. So, you know, one of the biggest reasons to hire a mentor is because running a business is really, really lonely. I just came from a networking group that I absolutely love. And we were talking about how lonely it can be in entrepreneurship and how it's so important to have a community of people around you. But it's also very important to have people who are going to tell you the truth, who are going to tell you like, hey, this is this is working. This isn't working because it's just it's lonely. You need somebody sometimes even that you can just send an email to and be like, hey, look what I did. Um, and and that's really important to have somebody like that. The other reason people hire a marketing mentor is running a business is being 100% responsible for all the decisions. All the decisions are on you and on your shoulders. And this tends to be one of the most challenging things for people who are coming out of corporate America, where you've been sort of one piece in a larger machine. And then all of a sudden you have to make all the decisions, right? You have to make all the marketing decisions, all the like operational <laughs> decisions. You have to make all the decisions about all of the things. And it can be a lot. It can be overwhelming. And frankly, you might just not know how. If your experience is in, let's say, bookkeeping, and you start your own business doing accounting and bookkeeping for businesses, you don't know anything about marketing. You're bookkeeping. I'm a marketer. I know nothing about bookkeeping or money or taxes or any of that, right? I need to hire help for it. But as small business owners, we're, we're, we, we are overwhelmed with the amount of decisions that we need to make every day. And so if marketing is not one of the things that you're good at making decisions about, just because you don't have the skill set, there's something wrong with you, then having a mentor is a good thing. The other reason people hire a marketing mentor is um, running a business will bring out all your demons, 
your insecurities and your crazies. I know this firsthand. When I started my first entrepreneurial venture, it's been about gosh, over 10 years now. And I was a photographer and I really needed to create a personal brand for the first time. I'd always sort of been behind the scenes running marketing for large organizations. And I was needing to put myself in front for the first time. And it is really, really scary. Even for someone who's outgoing like me, it, it can be very, very scary. And it can bring up all your demons, right? All of the like, people don't like me. I don't fit in. What if no one's listening? <laughs> right? All of those things. Am I ever going to make money? Am I going to be a failure? All those fears all come to the surface when you become an entrepreneur. And so it's really important to have a tribe, not only of colleagues around you, but to have really strong mentors as well who can kind of talk you off that ledge. I think that's one of the most, I don't know if it's the most important things that I do, but I'd say it's a good 50% of what I do is just helping people to feel like they're not constantly doing something wrong because that's one of the biggest struggles in marketing. One, I, you know, I don't want to be a spammy weirdo and I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. And I, you know, I left my, my cushy corporate job to do this. And is anybody paying attention to me anyway? And does anybody like me? And, you know, all of those things come up. And so I've been there. I get it. I still struggle with it as an entrepreneur all the time, right? Oh my gosh, nobody likes me. Nobody nobody liked my reels. So one, everyone hates me. And two, I'm never going to make any money again. And I'm going to be poor and I'm going to live under the bridge. And you know, my, my son's going to hate me and my husband's going to hate me. <laughs> That's what we think sometimes because entrepreneurship brings out all of our crazy. So having people around us, especially mentors who can guide you on what's next in very tangible, actionable steps is really, really important. A marketing mentor also just walks alongside you while you make the big decisions and the little ones. Entrepreneurship, as we mentioned, there are hundreds, if not thousands of decisions you need to make when running a business. And making all of those is not only lonely, but often we don't have the skills. And so it's really nice to have mentors in all the different areas, especially things that you don't know, where you can go to them and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this, or I'm thinking about doing that. I opened up a studio last year. I'm also a photographer as well as a marketing mentor. And so I opened up an office studio last year. And before I did it, I called my accountant because as I said earlier, I'm not great with taxes and money and those types of things. And I said, hey, here's what I'm thinking. You know, how much do you think I can afford? What makes the most sense for me? Um, you know, all of those questions, I went through it with her in, in advance because I needed a mentor to help me to make decisions. Um, and because it's, it, it's a lot to make those decisions on your own. And I, I find our friends are often very well-meaning, but they don't really understand. Often, sometimes they don't understand business or they don't want to hurt our feelings. They want to be as supportive as possible. So they might not tell you no, or this is a bad idea. Or you might have some of those friends who tell you that everything is a bad idea. <laughs> So they're not helpful either. So having an objective person who can come in and, and help you make all those business decisions that you need, especially the big ones, but the small ones too, is really, really essential to your business and will help you grow significantly faster because you're going to be able to make those decisions faster. You're also going to stop with the analysis paralysis, right? Any other, any other overthinkers out there? Yeah. I am a card carrying overthinker. And so having mentors is a good way for me to say, okay, I don't know how to make this decision. I can sit here and spend hours or days or months trying to think through exactly what I should be doing here. Or I can go to my mentors, get some advice, make a decision really quickly because I don't have time to, to lull on decisions for a long period of time. All I can do is ask my mentors and try to make decisions as quickly as possible because the faster I make decisions, the faster I can make money. One of the other reasons why people hire a marketing mentor is they walk alongside you um, in tough times and, and rem rem remind you that you are a badass who is changing lives. Man, we forget 
right? You get in the grind of everything that you're doing every single day and you forget like what you're doing makes a really big impact and is important. And you're doing this for a reason. You're doing this because you love what you're doing. And it's good to have people around you, you know, especially mentors who can remind you that this is why you're doing what you're doing. And one of the things that I do with all of my clients is we will start with what I call rooting. And in their strategy, we'll say, okay, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What change do you want to make in the world? How do you want to impact the world? And that's so important because when times get rough, I, we can go back to that. We could say, okay, pull up your mission statement. Let's look at your mission statement. This is why you're doing this. And it's so important to have that and to have somebody who is your constant cheerleader no matter what. The most important thing that a marketing mentor does is helps you to create a concrete, actionable, and easy to follow plan that helps you meet your goals. I think one, there's some overthinkers out there me included. And, you know, we'll often overthink over and over again, or we get into analysis paralysis, or we just don't know enough to create an actionable plan to market our businesses. So a marketing mentor will work with you. will say, okay, who are you talking to, right? What difference do you want to make in the world? Who's our target audience? Let's get super clear on who they are. What's the message that's going to most resonate with them? Where do they hang out? in their mark, you know, and, and look for things, right? Where do they look for people to help them with, with um, the problems that they have that you can solve? So where do they hang out and look for information? And then how do we create a very easy to follow, concrete, actionable plan? So you know, every single day what you're going to do to move the needle. And we don't add too much onto your plate so that you don't, you're not doing marketing for eight hours a day, because none of us have time to do that, especially once you start get an actual client and allows you to do that in a way that you can still DIY you maybe with a little help here and there, but you can still DIY it. You can do it on your own. You don't have to spend a ton of money. You don't have to spend all your time, but you know exactly what to do every single day. So how do you choose a marketing mentor? Well, you want to choose somebody who's kind of a been there, um, done that mentor in all the areas that you need the most help. And that's something that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I, as a professional marketer, I, I know how to do marketing. So it's not an area where I need help, though I have hired other marketing mentors to help me because I know I can't see the label from inside the bottle. And so if, even for me, it's important for me to have other people be able to give me feedback on my business because I can't always see it. I can't, I can't see it. And so always, you know, I hire been there, done that marketing mentors who have built businesses that I admire and said, okay, you know, how do I, how do I do better at my marketing? But then I certainly hire other mentors in other areas where I don't know much, right? So like right now, I am working on online courses and a whole online course catalog and a, and a collective online, and I'm using a new system. I'm using Podia, and I love it, but it's a lot to learn, and like I don't have time to learn it. So I hired a mentor, right? I hired somebody who knows the system really well. She's building some pages. She's teaching me how to build some pages. And it's great because now I'm going to learn the system super quick. She's going to do some of the, you know, the, the baseline stuff that isn't going to be regular updates that I, I don't need to spend time learning how to do things. And I can have her help me very quickly get up to speed so that I can start using that platform to make revenue. That's a great example. I mentioned also that I have bookkeepers, right? I have a bookkeeper and a financial planner. She actually helps me both in my personal life and in my business life. She does all my bookkeeping, my taxes, all of that, because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, I'm not great at knowing what to do with my money. It's a skill that I never learned. So I hire a mentor to do that. And having those people come in and teach you the things that you don't know one-on-one -on -one in a way that's super targeted is incredibly value, valuable. I can tell you I have made more money faster because I've hired people to teach me the things that I didn't know um, than I would have if I tried to learn them myself. 
So I want to talk a little bit about like why entrepreneurs hire me. And I'm going to give you some like actual, actual real life examples. So um, the picture you see on, see on the screen, her name is Asia Mahmood. She's amazing. And she came to me, she has a, a number of successful businesses. And she's like, you know what? I, I have figured out how to start a bit, you know, seven figure business, how to start these businesses, build a great team, put together all the systems and then, you know, have time to do what I want to do in my life. And a lot of entrepreneurs, maybe some of you listening, um, struggle with that, right? We, we build businesses and then we get stuck in them. <laughs> because we, we can't delegate or whatever. So she's like, I want to create a consulting company where I can help people get out of that daily grind. So she came to me and said, I don't, how does one start a consulting company? And so we really started from scratch. So she was ready to start a business, wasn't super sure on what the offer was going to be. You know, she had an idea of who she was going to talk to, but she wanted to know what what's the right message for me to put out there. Um, and then what's the marketing that I should do to run this business? Oh, and by the way, I only want to um, spend about 10 hours a week on this business. So under those parameters, you know, along with like, you know, do you like being on camera? Do you not? We put together an overall marketing strategy for her that's going to help her uh, to have a fundamental base for how to grow this business. And if you're interested in a little bit more about Asia, you can head over to my YouTube channel. And I actually did like a 20 minute presentation that deep dives deep into exactly what we did to grow her business from scratch. I think we only worked together for three months. And by the end, she went from, I kind of want to start a consulting business to a very, you know, a very specific plan of exactly what she's going to do to grow the business. We worked with an outside vendor, um, Natalia and Emily from Power Up Branding and Design. I helped her work with them on her all of her look and feel, her logo, her website, which is gorgeous. Um, I also, because I'm a photographer, took her pictures. So this is one of the pictures that I took if you are watching this on YouTube. But I encourage you to check that out because it's a really interesting um, look into how you can very quickly start a brand new business with the help of a marketing mentor. So that's one of the reasons why entrepreneurs hire me. Here's another example. Um, this is Jim. He has multiple businesses and multiple offers, sort of all under the same umbrella, but he wanted to find a way to bring them all together. How do I sell these courses to these two different audiences, but still have a coherent personal brand and a coherent marketing plan that makes sense for me, so I'm not doing marketing all day, uh, but also drives business. And so he is a sobriety coach. If you are struggling to get sober or just enjoy sobriety, uh, Jim is a great person for you to talk to. Again, it's Jim Savage. And so we've actually worked together for quite a while. We initially sort of figured out, okay, exactly what do you want to focus on? Is it one of these businesses over the other? Do we want to do both? He had a music piece. So we spent a long time just trying to say, what do we want? You know, what does he want to focus on, right? How does he want to spend this chapter of his life? Is there one audience over the other? And then we've, we've, we've spent time together just evolving that over time. And it's so fun because he did a seminar yesterday that, you know, we kind of, came up with this idea of doing this seminar and we're like, well, let's see how it goes, right? Sometimes it's, let's see how it goes, targeted at one specific audience. And I think he sent me a note yesterday at like 60 registrants. It's amazing. I'm so proud of him. So if you've got multiple businesses or multiple offers, and this is true of a lot of us serial entrepreneurs, it's really helpful to have somebody, especially on the outside, be able to look in and say, okay, what are the common elements that we can use in your marketing so that you're not essentially running two totally different marketing plans because that's too much for any solopreneur. So this is Dr. Alex Santiago. I love Alex. I actually just got to see her at this networking event this morning. So, you know, she kind of came to me like, look, I'm a, I'm a doctor. I want to be with patients. I, that is what I love to do. 
you know, this whole marketing thing, I know I need to do it, but it's not really my favorite. I don't like being on camera and I do not want to dance on TikTok. Like I don't want to be weird and spammy and gross. And so how can I market my business in a way that doesn't feel like that? And is very easy for me to follow because I don't want, you know, she just didn't, she didn't want like all the, you know, uh, 18,000 things she had to do to grow her business. She's like, what's the few things that I need to do to grow my business that are easy to understand, easy to execute or on a repetitive schedule. So I know exactly what I'm doing every single day. And that's one of the things that we've created for her. Because I just want to say this. I think a lot of people struggle with oh, you know, I need to be all outgoing and I need to be great on camera and I need to be really cute in order to run a business or have a personal brand. And that's not true at all. The vast majority of entrepreneurs don't have any on-camera experience, don't want to have any on-camera experience, right? That That's not, they want to make a difference in the world, but they don't want it to always be just about them. And so one of the things that I teach in my mentorship is how do you show up for your clients first, but you do it through your personality. So everything we do is about service first, and then it's about you as the personal brand. You are just the messenger of that. And I think that that helps a lot, but I just want to say for anybody out there who's like, God, the idea of creating a personal brand makes me like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I get it and it's okay and you don't have you don't have to be a Kardashian. You don't have to do those things. We can work together to figure out what are you most comfortable with. I had another client that I just started working with. We're we're in the process of working on her strategy and she you know, she re, she's a writer. She loves to write. And so we've been spending some time sort of like, okay, what may, what, what's comfortable for you? Like, here's all the different things that we could do, right? We could do podcasting, we do public relations, we could do all these other things. What feels best for you? And at the end of the day, she's like, I just want to write. I just want to write. I'm like, cool. Okay. Let's find a plan that works for you where we capitalize on your marketing. We're going to do super strong search engine optimization. You know, we'll find maybe places where you can syndicate your article, no matter what your strength is, we can find ways to market your business. You don't have to become something that you're not. And I actually have that happening. Um, I was thinking about one specific client when I said that, but I have that happening with multiple clients right now where they're like, I don't want to be on camera. I'm a much better reader or a much better uh, writer than I am a talker. And we can absolutely figure out a marketing plan that works for you. So... Another example of why people hire me, this is Patty Franco. She is an amazing um, executive coach and she came to me. We had worked together for a long time. I actually helped to manage her social for a long time. And she was an executive coach working a lot with entrepreneurs. And she came to me and said, you know, I, I want to change markets. I, I want to work more in corporations. And I really, I love working with the, the jerk bosses, as it were. And anybody who's listening in HR, you have those people in your organization. You know who they are, right? The problem, kind of the problem children, the problem entrepreneurs. And she's like, that's really my strength is working with those people and, and helping them to become the great leaders that they can be. So she came to me and she's like, look, I'm going to change markets. And so I really want a very simple, quick, inexpensive plan where I can update my marketing, introduce myself to a new audience and start getting clients really, really quickly. And so that's something that we worked on together. I also did her headshots. All these pictures are pictures that I've taken and she's, you know, rocking and rolling right now. Another example of why people hire me, um, this is Chelsea Skinner. She runs an organization called Oversee My IT. And she came to me and said, you know, I know I need to be doing more marketing, right? We have, we already have a successful business. We have a team. We're doing really great, but I, I know we need to be doing more marketing, but we, we are so busy. Um, I need a really short list of exactly what we need to do in order to move the needle because I can't, I don't want to spend a ton of money hiring an agency. And so tell me, you know, what are the few things that we need to do? 
one of the other interesting things that she did, so we we worked on that. We created her overall strategy with a couple of very simple things that she could do. One of the other interesting things that happened with her, and, and this is another reason why people hire me, is she then said, you know what? I have this guy who's got a great a great um, sense for marketing. I'd like to move him into a role where he is doing more of our marketing. So where he becomes, you know, part of his role is managing the marketing for the organization. Can you take the strategy that we've built and can you spend start spending time with him, with Matt, and help him, one, understand our strategy, and two, just kind of help manage him. You know, she's like, look, I don't know anything about marketing. Um, and, and he knows, you know, enough about, about marketing to be dangerous, but I want you to show him the ropes. I want you to teach him how to be, a, you know, a real world-class marketer and be, you know, the kind of marketing person who could probably ultimately, you know, grow a team and so forth. But I want you, now that we've created your strategy on a high level, Level, I want you to work with my employee and help them to learn the ropes and become the best marketer that they can. And I've actually done this with quite a few clients. It can be, you know, someone like like Matt had a, a very good marketing background ahead of time, but sometimes people don't. They're like, hey, I have this amazing assistant. Can you teach her how to do marketing? And I've done that quite a bit. One of the other reasons why people hire me, this is Brad Kiesling. He is an amazing farmer's insurance agent. And, you know, he really knew he needed, again, need, knew he needed to do more marketing, didn't know what that looked like, didn't want to be, you know, gross and spammy, one of those people who like have to dance on TikTok. And also was like, look, I, I've never done these things before, right? I, I have a, a fundamental knowledge of Facebook. I have a fundamental knowledge of these, you know, social media things. I want to do more social media. Uh, what can you teach me how to create content, how to create good content? What are the things I should be talking about? How do I create a video? How do I do all of these things and do it in a way that feels comfortable for me and do it on a consistent basis? And so that's something that we've been working on. And we've worked together a couple of times. We worked together last year for a month, and then we're working together right now for another month. And so, you know, you can work with, with me in just these little short spurts or on an ongoing basis. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a moment. So. You decide you're ready for a marketing mentor. You're like, yes, what do we do? What does the process look like? So there's essentially three phases of the process. The first is strategic planning. And I, I never jump into what are the tactics you're gonna do, right? Should you do social media? Should you do podcasting? Those types of things until we've defined your strategy. And that includes really an audit of what you're doing right now, if that makes sense why are you doing what you're doing? Right? Let's, let's really root in to why you're doing what you're doing. Who do you want to serve? What's the difference you want to make in the world, right? Then we spend time really figuring out who's your target audience. I find with, gosh, I'd say the vast majority of entrepreneurs, they they want to serve everyone. They're so excited about the, the, the value they can give to the world. They want to serve everyone. But the best marketing really is very laser focused on a few people and their very specific problems. And so we spend a lot of time talking about exactly who are you talking to, where, what are their challenges? How do you solve those challenges? And what's the marketing message that's going to bring them to you in the fastest way possible, right? What's the most intriguing way to talk to those people? So we spend a lot of time on that. Then once we've done that, we say, okay, we know who we're talking to. We know what products you're going to offer them. Or if you don't, we can spend time figuring that out. Now, how are we going to get you in front of as many people as possible with the least amount of effort? Should we do social media? Should we do blogging? Do we want to start a podcast, which I'm a huge proponent of podcasts and um, keep an eye out at the end, towards the end of 2024, I'm coming out with a how to start a podcast and how to be a great podcast guest uh, class. It's incredible. I recorded it last week. It's going, it's really, really a great primer on how to start a podcast because I believe that it is one of the best things for anyone creating a personal brand. So then we decide, okay, here's all the possibilities of the things you could do. Which ones make the most sense? Not only from where your clients hang out, 
and look for information. But what feels good to you, right? Are you okay doing video? Do you want to just write? And we figure out exactly what's that marketing plan going to look like? And then what are you going to be doing every single day? What's the plan for the next month? What's the plan for the next three months? And all of that. So once we're done with that strategic planning process, that generally takes about the first four sessions. So we do that in the first month. Then we move on to what I call execution support. And that's where we do whatever you need in order to start executing on the plan that we've put together. And so it varies by client. For some clients, they already kind of know how to do marketing, but they just want somebody to give them some guidance. But for a lot of my clients, they don't. And so we'll do, it's a combination of training. So, hey, we're going to do an email marketing campaign. How do you write a great email? What system should you use? What graphics should you put at the top? If you're going to create a graphic in Canva, how do you use Canva? What, what makes the most sense, right? So we do all that kind of training, exec, you know, eg, what I call execution support, um, priorities management, vendor management. Let's say you say, hey, I need a new website and I don't want to do it. Can you find somebody for me? And I'll help them find people, I'll help them manage those people to do, let's say, either your website or your logo or whatever you might need. So I walk alongside you through The first, it's usually, this process is usually anywhere from like two to four or even longer months where I just help you on an ongoing basis, just accountability, training, ideas, uh, all of that. Then we keep track on an ongoing basis on metrics. Like, how is it working? Am I getting people going to my events? Am I not getting people going to my events? Am I bringing in the right type of business? Who's coming in? Um, You know, which which things that I'm doing are working, which ones aren't, and let's adjust accordingly. Or, you know what? I realized I really love doing reels. I really want to dance on TikTok. Can we develop a TikTok strategy? You're like, yeah, let's develop a TikTok strategy. So we kind of go back to strategic planning, then to execution support. We continue to look at metrics and around and around we go where we're always not only looking at the strategy, but at the execution of that strategy. We look at what's working and what's not, and then we go back and readjust the strategy as we need to. Your main strategy shouldn't need to change more very much really at all. Um, But at least once a year, right, you often will want to sort of say, okay, what's working, what's not, do a really big overhaul. But often we'll do that strategy once and then we just sort of adjust as we go. And we never really need to go back and do like a full strategic process again sometimes, but not often. So how long does it take? That sounds like a lot of stuff. Well, here's how most people work with me. So they'll work with me every single week. We have 90 minute sessions every single week for the first month. So we'll do four sessions together and that is our strategy sessions. So by the, it's usually about four meetings. By the end of four, you're going to have a very clear view of exactly who you're talking to, what you're offering, what the messaging is going to be and the exact activities you're going to do. From there, most people continue to work with me every week or four times a month for the next two months. And that's because you're just starting to execute on all this marketing. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to learn. And so you want to have that ongoing support to teach you all the things that you need, help you set up the systems, all of that. So all told, it's about three months of meeting with me every single week for about three months. Then it kind of depends on the person. The vast majority of people go to twice a month from that point. And they'll meet with me again twice a month, every other week or so, and we'll do that ongoing support of their execution. So are there things that you want to add on? Are you struggling with, you know, I did a seminar, nobody came. Let's go back and look at the marketing. What was your marketing plan? Let's make sure we button that up for the next one. Um, It could be, hey, I, you know, I'm, I'm doing this new 
training? Can you, can you look at it for me? Can you walk through it for me? Can I run through it with you? Or I'm struggling with my social media, whatever it might be. But every other week tends to be fine after that. So three months of meeting with me four times a month, three months usually of meeting with me every other week. And then we just kind of see. I have had clients who've worked with me every other week for over a year, if not longer. And so some people do that. Some people say, I'm ready to go to once a month. Some people stay on, you know, sometimes they'll go to once a month and then they'll go back to twice a month. And so it really just depends on you individually. The main kind of requirement that I ask is that we at least do that first month of those first four really significant strategy meetings. And then from there, what, you know, we often, we can kind of figure it out from, from there, but those meetings are the, are really essential. The rest just depends on how much support you think you need in executing on the marketing. So again, the standard process is people meet with me four times a month for the first three months, and that's for strategy and kicking off all the execution. Then they meet with me every other week for another three months. And then we see, sometimes they stick with every other week. Sometimes they go to once a month. Sometimes they're like, I'm ready to be graduated. And that's awesome. We love that. I was at a networking meeting this morning and one of my current clients was there. I was telling you about her earlier, Dr. Alex Santiago. And one of my graduates was there as well. And so I love when people graduate. I, my job my job is to work myself out of a job. I love seeing my graduates. I love having them say like, you know, my business grew because of the strategy, you know, that we worked on together. There's, there's nothing better. I want to talk a little bit about return on investment. And I'm going to be completely transparent here, which is unusual because most coaches are going to, you know, mentors are going to say, you work with me, you're, you're absolutely guaranteed to get 10x your business. And I think that's a bunch of BS. And so I don't sell that way. And maybe that means I don't make as much money and I'm cool with that. But your return on investment is completely proportionate to how much time you're willing to spend on the activities that we decide to do. So there are times where I've had clients who have re regained their investment almost immediately, right? The first, the first thing they do, they make back the money that they spend on me. I have, you know, one of my best success stories, she tripled her revenue in a, in a matter of a couple months. But there are people who don't make any money. And, and generally, it's, it's two things. One is they realize marketing is a lot harder than they thought, or they realize like, oh my gosh, like this is a lot more time than I thought, or a lot of people just get overwhelmed and aren't ready to, you know, kind of just aren't ready to do it. They've got an emotional block that sometimes comes up. I talked earlier about how marketing your business can bring out all your crazy. It happens. It happens to me. It happens to everyone. And so your success is going to be in direct proportion to how much time, how much you're willing to do the things that we say you're going to do. It's just like, a workout program or a diet. You don't have to spend all day working out to lose weight, but you do have to put in the time that we, that you know your trainer has told you to put in. You do have to eat the things your trainer's told you to put in in order to get the results. And it's the same with this. I've also had some people who've said like, gosh, you know what? I don't really want to run a business. Like now that I'm in it and I'm doing it for a little while, I'm going to go, I'm going to stay in corporate America or I'm going to go back to corporate America. And that's a great result. Honestly, running a business is hard and it's not easy for everybody. But if you're willing to commit and you're willing to be consistent, you will get results. Every single client of mine who is committed and consistent to the plan that we put together, they always get results. So I want to tell you about one other thing that I think is pretty cool that I just launched a, a few months ago, kind of in the middle of 2024, depending on when you're listening to this. It's called the Purposeful and Profitable Collective. So everyone who works with me gets a free membership in the Purposeful and Profitable Collective. So if you have a, an ongoing mentorship agreement with me, you get, you get to be in this 
collective for free. If you've graduated and you're not working with me one-on-one, there's a a very nominal charge to be in it. But the collective is really cool because we do a couple things. One is you get access to a bank of all of my trainings, so many different things on how to how to do marketing, how to write copy, um, how to make great reels that work, how to take great videos at home. There are dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of trainings in there. You get free access to all of those. You also get access to our free Facebook group. And in our, our I'm sorry, our members only Facebook group. In that uh, members only Facebook group, we've got six meetings a month, which is huge. Two of them are master classes, one by me and one um, that is with me and a partner. I invite a you know guest speaker to come in and kind of teach us something specific, right? It could be SEO. I have someone coming in this month that's going to teach us how to use humor in our videos and in our marketing. Um, so that's, I'm super excited about that. I've had people come in and talk about insurance. So In that group, you get uh, two masterminds per month. There are two connect and collaborate meetings. And those are just uh, essentially networking meetings with people who are just in the group. It's people who you know have found a marketing strategy, have a marketing strategy, are dedicated to that. And we just connect with one another. Everybody gets a chance to introduce themselves. And then we use that time to mastermind some of each other's challenges. So you can get feedback from other people, me included, and other people. And then every month there's two office hours with me where essentially I'm just, I'm there and whoever comes gets to have some time with me. Sometimes there's multiple people and we mastermind together. Sometimes if you're lucky, it'll be just you and me and you'll get essentially a free session out of it. And so this purposeful and profitable collective is something that I've created, especially for people who have graduated from the program, but still want to be actively involved, still want to, you know, get new tips on marketing their business, you know, want to develop some community with other entrepreneurs. So again, the Purposeful and Profitable Collective is free for anyone who has a one-on-one mentorship program with me. And then after that, there's just sort of a nominal cost to be part of it, but it's, it's worth it's worth the cost, even just for even just one of those six meetings per month. So I hope that this was really helpful for you. If you're thinking about how the heck am I going to do this marketing thing? Do I hire an agency? Do I hire a marketing mentor? What's what makes the most sense for me? I hope that this was a comprehensive look at why you would want to hire a marketing mentor like me. If you're still not sure, let's chat. I'd love to, you know, just kind of walk you through the process. If it if it makes sense, great. If it doesn't, great. I am a very uh, low push salesperson. I think that, you know, we will know both of us if if this is the right decision for you. But if you're just not sure, give me a holler. Um, you can actually go to my website, which is SherrySutton.com, S H E R R Y. S-U-T-T-O-N dot com. And there on that, there, there is a uh, like sign up for a free 45 minute consultation. Just go, you can pop some time on my, on my calendar. We'll have a chat, see if it, if it makes sense for you. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. And if it does, I'm so excited to work with you. And if you have any other questions, not maybe not ready for a consult, you're welcome to email me. Um, you can reach out to me on any of the uh, any of the social media challenge channels via DM. Uh, I'm on all of the places as Sherry Sutton, your marketing mentor, or you can email me at Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y, at SherrySutton.com. And thank you so much. This podcast, again, this was the first episode of the Your Marketing Mentor podcast. We're going to be launching every other week. So excited. We're going to do a combination of, uh, you know, kind of things like this that are like teaching you things you need to know about marketing. And then we're also going to have guests. And I'm super excited for everything we have in store for you. So tune in, like, and subscribe and all the things. Have a great day. And that's a wrap of today's episode of Your Marketing Mentor. I hope you found some valuable insights and feel inspired to take action in your business. Remember, you have the power to create a purposeful and profitable business. 
If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Your feedback helps me create content that truly serves you. And don't forget to share this podcast with your friends and fellow entrepreneurs. Let's spread the love and help more mission-driven businesses thrive. Stay connected to me on social media and visit my website for more resources, tips, and support. I'm here to walk alongside you every step of the way. Thanks for listening. And until next time, keep shining and keep growing.